Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I have for you my first ship build using mods. I gotta say, I'm really happy how they turned out. I really like the blue lighting. It really makes the ship look more like a spaceship. I'm gonna take you guys to an overview of the ship, things that I've done, and give you guys a tour of the interior because even though it has three levels, we are not having any ladders in it. We're using stairs instead. So I'm gonna show you guys around how everything came together. And then after the tour, I show you all the mods. It's actually just three, uh, maybe only two. I mean, one is optional. And I show you guys how to put it all together. If you wanna replicate this build or maybe do something similar from this build. It is basically, I think, about maybe half using vanilla parts and another half using mod parts. One thing before we get into the, the overview, the look is the stats. Because this is using mods, you have parts that will allow you to have a cargo of 1600 and still maintain 100 mobility and a stop speed of 300. Is that kind of cheating? Maybe, but it is fun. That's for sure. We're using engines from the mod. This is the Avon Warp engine. So it has what, like 100,000 thrust? And you can have three of these. I only added two and you're still kind of maintaining 100 mobility. So if you are doing your build, you can probably add even more cargo space and I just put a third one and still maintain that nice 300 top speed and 100 mobility. So all the engines, graph drives, reactors is using the mods. I am not using the vanilla parts. For example, here, this is the graph drive, 50 jump thrusts. I think that's 50 is the maximum if I'm not mistaken. And then on the other side, which looks exactly the same aesthetically, it is the reactor. It is too unfortunate that it is only generating 38. So we are losing two. I checked all the cargo holds at the bottom. Uh, we do have a few here at the top and a lot of landing gears, a lot of landing gears just to support the weight of the cargo. So yeah, so this is how it turned out. One thing that I like the most about it is I managed to make it very sleek, not very tall. I don't like tall ships. And even though it has three floors, three levels, we still managed to keep a very low, low profile. So it looks really nice from that perspective on the side. I really like the look of it. The ship is a little bit longer. It is 46 meters in length. But most of the places that I went to is fine. You're not clipping into any other things. New Atlantis is fine. You don't clip into anything. I went to Titan, New Homestead. That is fine as well. Then what? Uh, Aquila City. That is fine too. I think uh, the only place that I didn't check is Porima. Uh, Red Mile. I didn't check to see if it clips into anything. But I think at 46 meters, you should be fine. It should not be too much of a trouble. If you want to be safe, you can always remove these two. It goes down to like 44, I think, and it should be pretty safe. So it's just slightly longer than the uh, limit. And for the most part, it should be fine. On the width, it's totally fine. 37 within the limits, so no problems there. Okay, so I think now we can probably go to the interior. This is how it looks in game. It looks pretty good. Um, yeah, you know, it comes up quite almost the entire uh, landing pad, but, but it's okay. It's okay. It looks pretty good. Let's go inside. So I am using this landing bay. It just straight up going in. So I am using a mod that gives you this part here. It is a three by one in length and width, but it is a two stories hub. Once you come in here from your landing bay and I just put, you know, some mannequins, some armor sets. I have some UC armor sets and I also have the Doom Slayer armor set. I have the white one. I have the regular uh, green one. Uh, which if you want to know which mod this is i already have a video it's my previous video and i also have some starborn spacesuits here uh stairs going up and just some armor showcases here at the back below the stairs not much i did not spend too much time designing the interior in with this with this ship 
mostly because I'm using a lot of mods. Uh, I want to use it for a while uh, to make sure that there are no other problems or glitches or things like that before I spend, you know, truly more time doing the interior. So, so we have two wings, you know, left, right, or, or four port or something like that. And then at the back, unfortunately, the game does not offer a docker facing to the back. I really wish we had one, um, but we only have one facing to the side or to the front. So, you know, half a ladder is fine. And then this is another half. This is a one by one, but two stories with a stairs that kind of goes around and takes it to the third level. And I just have some, you know, some stuff, not a lot of stuff here. And then here we have a, I think this is a, this is a three by one hub, just a regular empty hub from Deimos. And I decorated it into kind of like a control station type of thing. And this just leads straight into the cockpit. I didn't do anything here in the cockpit. Like, honestly, I find it very difficult to decorate cockpits because it looks like they already kind of have almost everything and not sure what else to kind of add. But anyway, so there's the carpet. I do like the view. When you look at the front, you can see your ship. You can see the blue lighting, you know, out the windows. It's pretty nice. When you come to this window, you can see all the lighting. It's pretty, it's pretty sweet. And same thing here, you know, you can see outside. It just looks really nice. Kind of really, really spaceshipy. Okay, so let's go now to the second level. And I show you guys some of the decorations that I did there. Not a lot, but there is some. Let's start with the right. So this is a two by three or a three by two empty cargo hole. And we turn into kind of like a conference area with a hangout area with a pool table. So yeah, all the stuff. And uh, in case we were wondering, yes, we had a discussion about pool tables in a spaceship. It is technically possible. So. Uh, here I have a three by one empty that I turn into a workshop. So we have all the benches that we could need and they are all here. So very simple, very simple design. And once we come out here, I have basically uh, only one berth, uh, not empty. I just kept it vanilla default that leads all the way to a captain's quarters here. And we have some portholes. Some windows looking out, you know, you can see the lights, very nice. And I do have a bridge, I think you call this a pathway, uh, a pathway that from one, one end to the other one. So we can come in here and uh, another three by one, only one berth. I have an empty computer core that I'm not sure what to do. Never mind that, I might turn that into something. And we come into here, this is another two by one, no, this is another two by three cargo hall empty that I turn into kind of a mess hall, you know, a place to eat for the crew, all that stuff. So we are now on the other side of the wing. And then on this side, I have a living quarters, just a simple living quarters, just three by one living quarters. So basically, yeah, that is, that is the interior. I think the highlight is the stairs, you know, this is, this is fantastic that somebody made this mod. Uh, one of the viewers once asked me if I could build uh, like a prison ship. I haven't come up with an idea for that yet, but looking at this hub, you can totally turn this into a prison ship. Like if you put pathways in all of these doors, so you're going to have three pathways. Uh, in one side, three on the other side, and they can be your jail cells. Like they each lead to a one by one, right? Just make sure that they are not connected the hubs on the other end. So you have a one by one in each. So you have six one by ones and there you have it. That's a prison ship right there. So, so yeah, this hub is perfect for that. So, all right, let's go now to the build, the step by steps, as well as the mods that we're using. It is four mods. I think I said three at the beginning, but it is actually four. And let's start with the first one in no particular order. We're using this one is called the Ship Building Twix. It is a very light, very simple mod. This is the mod that basically allows you to build 
over the limit of 40 meters as well as build over the limits in terms of parts quantity the next mod is the ship extension this is the mod that gives you those halves with uh, two levels with the stairs inside so this is for that and then we have the avon tech shipyards so this is the one that gives you all those new parts that you're seeing in this build the ones with the blue lighting and all of that all those parts are from this mod then finally there is the glowing ship modules i have used these parts quite extensively on my previous builds so I wanted the radiator to also match with the rest of the design, which is why I ended up using one part from this mod as well. So those are all the four parts. They are all free. So shout out to all the developers for making it available for everyone. Okay, so once we have all of this, we can almost start with the building. We still have to get a few specialty parts at certain locations. So I'm going to have the shopping list of those specialty parts here on screen. Basically get a ship, you know, buy one or you can take over a pirate ship and go to those specific locations, get those specific parts, just snap them on the ship. However, it doesn't matter after you get all those parts come back to your own landing bay and do the building there okay i have the ship kind of separated into different sections i know this looks confusing complex but i assure you it's going to be really easy we're going to be doing this together right now we just need to focus on the center this area and the best way to build this is you know we're going to start small from the center and go uh, move our way out let's just get all the hubs right kind of the structure if you will and we're gonna get all those hubs in the correct position and we can do that by starting with the center one this is the the one with the stairs this is the two decker you know the straw large stairs and you can get this one by going to your hubs once you go into your new hubs and we're gonna take the large one now you have a couple one there's the four there's the I don't know what AFT stands for. Maybe somebody knows and can tell me what that stands for. But this is the one where it has the stairs push to the back. Like the stairs are going to be here. The fourth one is going to have the stairs here. We don't want them there because that's where we enter from the bay area. And then you also have a double. So you will have two stairs on both ends and we don't want that either. So we're going to grab the, the AFT. So and this is the one that I have. So I come in from here and go and all the way to the second floor so the second floor is where you're going to put the hope tech spine and that's going to lead you to a storeroom this is just a one by one storeroom and the storeroom is the one that has the docker below it so after you get that we're gonna go into the same hubs and we're gonna put this one this is the shroud small stairs so so we already kind of uh saw the large one and this is the small one. and there is just one the four one so you know very easy you're just gonna grab that one and you're gonna put it in here and obviously you're gonna put it you know so that the second level becomes your your third level goes to third level and the first level goes to your second level so that's how we do it and once you have this part ready the center part what you can do then is grab the tile landing bay this one and put it boom at the front uh, on the first level so that is where the landing bay goes and then we can go to the back you can start putting landing gear so that your ship you know goes up to level and i'm just using ng10 landing gears this is the port the starboard so one on one and we put them right there. So that is it. And you can put windows if you like, you know, I have windows here. So we have the center and now we're going to put a three by two empty cargo hole or you can put any three by two uh, that you wish or you can even do, you know, two three by ones if you prefer. So we're going to put that next to it and just keep in mind that it's not sitting kind of aligned with uh with the center part just keep that in mind so this is kind of 
moving a little bit backwards. And then in front of that, we have a three by one and a two by one, and you can put any halves you want, or you can do, you know, a two by one first, or, and then a three by one is up to you. It will not make any difference there. So same thing on the other side, it is all symmetrical, this ship. And then outside of that, we also have a three by one. I went with living quarters. And again, this one is also not sitting flush, you know, with the three by two, it is sitting forward. So keep that in mind. And same thing on the other side. And now that we have this area kind of ready, I think we can go to the bottom. Uh, let's work on this. I think once you get the bottom, let's go to the top and then we can get everything done. So below here, I put a bunch of landing gears and cargo holds. Let's start from the inside. I have six of these Hope 5 landing gears. So there's three on each side and three on the other side. And then I also have four NG20 landing gears. So doing this uh, line here, you can start from the NG20s and they both, they align with the double decker hub. And you put one next to each other. And then at the end, we're gonna finish with a whole five landing gear. Same at the front. And the NG5 landing gear takes two spots. So it's, that's why it kind of looks like it's further away from the NG20s. And then you also have exactly the same on the other side. So two NG20s in the middle, Frank by two whole five landing gears. Let's work on this other side. So I have two cargo holes, S204s, and they are at the back, uh, the back two blocks of the cargo hole, okay? So I have that. And then in front of that, I have the whole five landing gear, which is, you know, halfway kind of overhanging. That's because there's going to be something else above here. So that's why it's hanging there. And then behind here, below, actually going back below, we have the S203 cargo holes. Uh, it's just for looks, I chose these ones because, you know, they taper outside. So I using those ones and then behind I attach a uh, shield the cargo. So that is that. And then this is the Avon Tech large tank. So this is a 300 helium tank and you will find this under the menu under fuel tanks. So you're going to have the Avon Tech large tank there. And this is sitting behind the other cargo hull. And it is exactly the same on the other side is perfectly symmetrical. So you have exactly the same and exactly the same on the other side. So let's see, am I forgetting anything below here? Because once below here, all that stuff is done, uh, everything becomes easier. Oh, so yeah, I added, uh, so there's a, this is another, a smaller 200 helium tank. I put that below here attached to the hub spine. So I have one of those hidden because I thought that just the two 300, you know, 600 might not be enough. So I just kind of wanted to add one more so that I don't have to uh, stop if I'm going from one end of the galaxy to the other. And so that is that. And I think that is pretty much done for the bottom part. There is a cross brace. This is a hope tech cross brace that goes in here. And this is just so that I can go from one end to the other without having to kind of go around. So that goes in here. We have a couple of uh, structure, just uh, things for looks. This is the Avontech intake, and this is the Avontech spoiler. You will find both of them under structures. Okay, so intakes, you have those, the intakes, and then the spoilers. You have a couple of options for spoilers. So I chose the ones, you know, that is facing at the top. Uh, I put a couple of portholes in here. Feel free to do so or not, you know, those are not necessary. And that is pretty much complete for this center part. Uh, I also have a few more portholes here and here. If you like windows, add them. If not, don't. Is you know, it's all optional, all of that. And of course, we already went over the landing gear here at the back and as well as the docker. And uh, oh, next to the docker, I also put another 
shield the cargo hole. So I put another shield the cargo hole here for a total of three shield the cargo holds. So one, two, and three, just all here. And these two are just decorations from uh, structures from Hope Tech. Those are just vanilla parts there. Okay, so now I think we can go ahead and uh, put the cockpit and the hub that leads to the cockpit in here. So that's how everything is going to look. So let's work out on the center part. Uh, we have this structure part, and this is one of the new uh, Avon Tech parts as well. So this is the Avon Tech hood. Uh, you're gonna find it under structures. Go to the Avon Tech category, and you will find the hood. So I think you have a few, and I went with that one, so hood. So you have a couple of different hoods, right? And I went with this one. So you have larger ones and uh, smaller ones and things like that. So that is that one. And this one goes on top, on top here. You see a little bit of space in the front, uh, but mostly it sits here. The shield generator goes on top. And I put this satellite dish. This is an Avon Tech dish at the top. I just kind of put it there. So let's see. After that, to the side of the Deimos hub, I have all these cargo holds. So there's two of them. So one here, another one here. And just for decoration, I added the Avon Tech glow wing at the back. And the Avon Tech, you again, you know, it is a structure. You're gonna find it here. So this is the Avon Tech glow wing. And then I also put this Avon Tech corner. So this one just sits there. So it doesn't look so empty that part. And that's the only reason why that's there. We can do the same thing for the other side. So I'm just gonna click the whole thing and just move it here. And everything obviously aligns symmetrical with the other side. And let's see, after that, above the two cargo holds, I put this Avon Tech plating. Uh, this is just cosmetic. And again, you can find it under Avon Tech and there is an Avon Tech plating right there. So you can choose, grab it from there and put it here at the top. So that goes in there. And let's see, where should we do next? Okay, let's put this hood. This is another hood. So in the same category, go to this variant. And this just goes here, like a wing, a hood, I guess. And it goes there. So same thing for the other side. And there you have it, and that's that. Now, we have the engine. So we have this, this is the Avon Tech core, this is a structure, and then I have a decorative engine at the back, which is this little round thing, okay? So that's a decorative engine. Then the rear engine is below, the Avon Warp 2 engine bottom. So let me show you. So the two, the two things at the top, you're gonna find them under structure. You're gonna find here core. So there, that's the one. It's the first one. It has a bunch of other cores, but I use the first one. And then the miniature, the decorative engine, it is also in structure. So you're gonna have here Avon Tech decorative mini engine under structure. The rear engine, you're gonna have to go to the engine side. It is in the engine menu, the Avon Warp 2. And you have a few, you have the one that connects from the bottom, which is the one that I'm using, uh, the ones that connects to the front, and this one that connects from the, uh, the top. So I am using this one. So it is at the bottom of this structure and you can grab the whole thing and just put it in here. It basically sits here. It doesn't touch the cargo shield, the shield, the cargo, it doesn't touch it. And we can do the same thing on the other side, exactly the same, just goes in there. So it just snaps in place. Perfect, that is that. Is that. And let's see, what do we work? Okay, let's work on what goes on top of here. So this is the hood, the same one that is there. Uh, I am also adding it here. And it's sitting a little bit further back leaving this area front available for me to put 
this one here. So it kind of looks like they merge a little bit, uh, but it seems to be fine. Uh, so yeah, not, not here, like here. It looks fine, so I left it there. And now that we have this part here, the plating, we can grab this plating, which is the plating for the bottom part. And this just goes here. And now, you know, symmetrical, everything kind of looks aligned. We can do the same thing for the other side. So let's grab this one, the hood. And this goes in here. And then the plating goes in here. And uh, it should be good, right? Yeah, it is good. And then there is the one below that goes in here. What goes in between is going to be a web amount. So we're gonna we're gonna get to that later. On the side, so I have a porthole here and another a thruster at the back, not another porthole. And I left the middle one available. And we're going to put this wing. It is basically three different parts. So the first one, this is the glow wing, which is you know, like what we did before, the one facing back, this is the one facing front. And this thing here is another core. So when you go to structure, back to Avon tag, uh, when we go to core, so we use a core, this one for the engine. And then there is another core, this one, which we're going to use for the wing. And then behind that, I put another decorative mini engine. And we can just grab this whole thing and stack it there to the middle. Then we grab this, move it there, and the mini engine to the back. And there you have it. So this part is pretty much now uh, complete. What we're going to do now is do the same on the other side. So same parts, three items, back to back. We can grab the whole thing and just move it and boom there perfect so let's fill in this part here which is the nova weapon mount i am using the one from the glowing parts from the mod and we're gonna just put that in there so the weapons are the pbo 300 auto alpha the pbo 175 auto, auto helium beam and they're decent, they get the job done. They're not the best, I think they're not the most powerful, highest damage weapons, but they're good, they, they get the job done. I've been using them for a while, so I like them. So that goes in there, there you go. That's the weapon mount, and same thing from the other side, and the weapon mount, everything goes in there, fantastic. Now, let's work on this part here in the middle. So that is this thing here. It consists of three three items. So first, the structure, which is the hooktail radiator. This is the one that glows from the mod instead of the vanilla one. And we're going to take that and we're just going to put it in there. So that is holding onto the landing bay. No, the landing gear and the hub. This is the Avon Tech Grav Drive. So you're going to find it under Grav Drives. And you're going to look for Avantech Grab Dry, and this is the one. So grab that, goes in there, and we're adding this glow wing again. Perfect. Now, on the other side, it's going to be slightly different. So we still have the glowing radiator that goes in there, but here we're using the reactor. So when you go to the reactor menu, you're going to find there is two. There's the Avon Tech reactor, which looks exactly the same as the Grad Drive, or the Ring reactor, which I couldn't make this one work uh, in the design. So we're not going to use that one. There you go. The reactor goes in there. And same thing, we're going to use the glow wing at the front. And perfect. So we have almost the ship complete. And now let's work on the center, which I kind of forgot. We are going to put this, the Deimos hull. This is the one that glows as well. It's a mod part. And that just goes in here, in between, ahead of the brace. And we're going to put another weapon mount, the one that glows in white. And we're going to attach it. I have here two weapons. These are the Exterminator 95 auto helium beams. I have two here and one on top of the cockpit. I have a few windows here on the on the side as well. 
So that is that. And some decorative parts. We have the Avontech tail. You go to structures and it's here. So we're going to use this one. This goes in here, just in front of the intake. And another one that goes on the other side. This plate, this is the Avontech shell plating. It is also under structure. So you have a regular plating and there's the shell plating. So we're using that one. And this one is just there to kind of cover that thing. I, I like the yellow. Uh, I didn't like how this looked. So I wanted to put this here. I wish I could flip this so that the pointy part is, you know, facing forward, but there is no option for that. So it's going to go there, unfortunately. We're almost finishing, so we just need the two pointy things at the front. This is the Avante plating again, and this just goes in there. We're using two side platings as well. It's in the same category, in the same menu. And you're just grabbing basically the other uh, the other variant. So Avante plating, right? The first one is the one at the top, then bottom, and two on the sides. So kind of similar to what we did here. And there's the top one. That's the side one for both, you know, both sides. That's it. And then there is the glow wing for here, be in the middle inside. And then we do the same thing here. The top one, the side ones, and the part in the middle. Now, notice that below, I only put pole holes here and not another plating at the bottom. Two reasons. Number one, I wanted the port holes here for the captain's quarter. I liked it. Uh, the other thing is I noticed that when I put these platings, whether the one below or the one at the top, it creates like an invisible block or wall or something. I'm going to show you in the clip right now. Like you can see that I am standing on top of this Avantech tail, but my character is floating. So there is like an empty invisible space in, in between there uh, that is one of the reasons why i didn't put it below because i use i i was trying to walk from side to side uh, across sometimes you know because this is the front of the ship and i will find myself kind of stuck which is why i did not put it there uh, i did put it below but that is because i never walked through there through this area of the ship so i didn't care for that um, those are the reasons why i did that so that is that is it, right? It, it wasn't that difficult. I mean, if you follow along, you know, post the video, you get the center, the halves all aligned, all done. The rest is kind of really, really easy. So, so there you have it. This is my latest build. I have a bunch of builds that are vanilla build, not using any mods or any glitches. Personally, I don't like glitches uh, with the ship builds. So I only have like a one build that they're using a tiny little bit of a glitch. Most of my builds are all just vanilla and I have over a dozen of those. So if you wanna look at those, check uh, my playlist. I also have a no ladders, just a vanilla build as well. So so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Is this good? Is this not good? Uh, um, would you like to see something else? And by the way, when it comes to colors, the yellow, is the default from the parts. So I only modify color one and two. I turn those into a darker gray. I feel like it, it matches better with the parts. So highlighting everything, bringing up the color palette. I change color one and two. I left three as the default color from the mod because I kind of liked it. And uh, yeah, and I tried to do my best to, to match the cockpit third color into that. And I think it came out pretty, uh, pretty close. So, all right, there you have it. My latest ship build, the first ship using mods. All right, so let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions. If you like the video, please support the channel, like and subscribe. Other than that, thank you all for watching. Enjoy the game, have fun, and I'll see you all in the next video.